North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said the ability to conduct space reconnaissance is crucial for national self-defense and protection of the country's sovereignty and North Korea will never give up efforts to possess it. State media said on May 29. North Korea's attempt to launch a spy satellite on May 27 failed after the first stage booster exploded in flight. Kim made the remarks during his visit to the country's Academy of Defense Sciences. KCNA news agency said, Possessing military reconnaissance satellites is a crucial task to strengthen national self-defense deterrence and protect national sovereignty and security from potential threats. Due to U.S. military acts and provocations, he said, The launch of a reconnaissance satellite this time did not accomplish its goal, but, comrades, we shall not be disheartened or intimidated by the failure, but instead intensify our efforts. Through failure we learn more and advance further. Despite the fiery failure, experts said the latest satellite launch by the North showcased new strides in the nuclear armed country's race for space. With the use of a new engine fueled by liquid oxygen and petroleum, that design suggests Russia may have provided assistance in building the rocket, one expert said, calling it a huge leap. North Korea and Russia have dramatically upgraded military cooperation since their leaders' summit last year. North Korea in November successfully launched a satellite putting it in orbit after two failed attempts earlier last year likely using a launch system it had developed for its intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM. KCNA said Kim made the speech to the scientists and engineers of the Academy of Defense Sciences on the 60th anniversary of its founding. The Academy is a key military agency running the country's missile program. The satellite launch on May 27 was conducted by a separate agency, Handling an Aerospace Program, KCNA said. Kim assailed South Korea for criticizing the satellite launch and said Seoul was playing with fire by putting on a show of force and conducting drills involving fighter jets. Hours after the launch, by the North late on May 27, South Korea deployed fighter jets including the F-35 stealth fighter to conduct attack drills in a show of force. South Korean and U.S. warplanes are conducting separate drills this week over the naval hotspot near the two Korea's West Sea Maritime border.